Bear Down Chicago Bears, we've got a signing to talk about. Byron Cowart has been signed by the Chicago Bears. He's been signed as a defensive end, but basically he's been a defensive tackle for his career so far, a career that's been less than stellar. However, he is a position piece that might help this defensive line. We've had conversations before about the need to improve the defensive line. And you know what? Let's just kind of look through this and check it out and see if we find anything good here. Uh, we signed Byron Cowart to a one-year contract. A lot of conversation out here about where's the video. You know, a lot of people still hating, but steal of the offseason can't be worse than Dom Rob. It must be recognized. A lot of people are still a little upset over Justin Fields. You know, we're we're looking around and we're trying to find, uh, but he's done nothing but ride the bench. You know, there's there's a lot of, you know, this is not the biggest of moves for the Chicago Bears. Not a lot of uh, excitement for it, but there should possibly be. If Byron Cowart is who he was supposed to be when all of it began, let's take you back there because this is actually very intriguing. Didn't work out. There's a lot of could have been. Byron Cowart was signed by the Kansas City Chiefs. He was released by them before the season last year uh, for a couple of it. We'll go over the, the history of it, but uh, here it is. He was the number one high school recruit coming out of high school. He was the five-star defensive end. He went to Maryland. This was a big-time get for their program, one of their highest-rated recruits ever. Uh, he 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 was a five-star defensive lineman. Byron Cowart dominates at the opening. This is nine years ago, by the way. But uh, you can see that there's a, a, a lot of talent that y you have. And here is a video of his one sack that he's ever had in the NFL. As you can see, just bowling somebody over. I know it's a small video, but... Uh, for copyright, we're not going to do too much with it. Now, um, also end up going to, after Maryland, he ended up going to Auburn. So, uh, you know, the questions, what kind of stats does he have? And when you look at it, uh, six foot three, 300, pound, 300 pounds, 36 games he's played in his career. Um, you know, the the in 2019, 2020, I uh, played for New England. Uh, it was released by New England after getting injured and sitting out the entirety of the 2021 season. Coming back in 2022, playing for Indianapolis, played all 17 games. But as you can see right here, the stat line is just not full. The, the stat line, no sacks, uh, 12, uh, 12 tackles, uh, four solo, eight assisted, two tackles for loss. There's some 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 good stats, but there's just not enough here to, to really go on. Uh, if you have somebody here who's played 36 games, that's two full seasons uh, with one sack and five tackles for loss probably not going to start them. So th this doesn't on the surface ring as a good signing. Now let's take it a step further. Um, Byron Cowart, number one overall recruit. This is what his professional career has looked like. Uh, he was placed on the reserve COVID list in October, October uh, in 2020. Uh, but he ended up on the physically unable to perform list after that sack of Jared Goff. Uh, on July 22nd of 2022, he was waived. Uh, then he moved to the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, then he went to the Kansas City Chiefs in March of 2023 as a free agent. Uh, he was released a couple months later. Houston, Texas, same thing. He signed with the Houston, Texas. Then he was released before the season. And then in September, uh, he was signed to the practice squad of the Dolphins. He was not signed to a reserve future contract after the season and thus became a free agent. So here we are with a signing of Byron Cowart. Now, what does that mean for the Chicago Bears? I think this just adds a little bit of depth to the roster. This is not the man that's going to start the season. Here's the point. Uh, the, the important part is there's a possibility that he comes alive. However, as a number one high school recruit going into college, he showed some flashes of brilliance. He was considered one of the best players. If he lived up to any of the hype, then this could be the steal of the century for the Chicago Bears, but it doesn't look like it. What it looks like so far is that this is a capable and serviceable backup and spell relief for whomever it is that's going to man that defensive end position. Uh, could also be, by the way, the reason the Bears are looking at him for a defensive end position, the reason that they're looking at him in that context is because Maybe just maybe he wasn't big enough or uh, he wasn't right for the defensive tackle position. I mean, it's it's possible. I don't think so, but stranger things have happened. But we'll see him on the field, I think, uh, going forward. He's uh, 
He's a Chicago Bear right now. So uh, welcome, Byron Cowart. And Bear Down, guys, we'll talk to you again very soon. Uh, I think this is an intriguing signing. I don't know if it's going to pan out. Uh, he's been around, and maybe, maybe not. But we'll see, and we'll know pretty soon uh, exactly what happens here. Thanks for tuning in.